Howdy, this is the Wyoming Stone Ranger. Sometimes, regardless of the weather, you just have to go rock hunting. On my way to Fort Laramie, I used my GPS and found this little chunk of state land with lots of rocks. Wow, check out this little nodule. Let's get a closer look at it. It's about the size of a baseball, maybe a little bigger. Full of jasper. Mustard colored, red, black, white. That's a beautiful rock. I might have to consider cutting that one open when I get back to the ranch. Let's keep hiking. Check this one out. I can't tell if those are quartz crystals sticking out or chalcedony. It's a bigger rock, but I'm going to pack it home so I can wash it off and take a look at it closer. Need to be careful so the Wyoming yucca doesn't poke me. You can use the roots of that plant for soap. There's a nice rock. Pretty big, but not quite the quality I'm looking for. I want the fine jasper. The banded iron in this part of the state is not quite as nice as where I'm from. But you can find nice pieces like this one. Even has a special little vein of red jasper running through it. I saw this brilliant red piece from about 15 feet away. That is quality jasper. It should cut and make a cabochon really well. You can just find great rocks about anywhere in the state of Wyoming. Get out there, rock hunters. Even when the weather's bad, you can still find a window. Here's another kind of unusual piece of banded iron, that Genesis stone. What do you think, guys? Would you keep that one? I'm going to put it in my pocket. And then there's another piece not far away. Let's take a closer look at that one. How about that one? Would you keep it? I don't think I'm going to take that one. That one's a lever right there. I've had enough of the wind for now. Thank God it was 50 degrees out here today. But you always got to look on the way back to the car. You never know what you might find. There's a very cool little piece of green rock. Perhaps that's serpentine. Not sure, but I'm going to put it in my pocket and take it with me. There's a nice little barrel cactus. It's not nearly as common as the prickly pear. And of course, a beautiful rock right next to it. Not that quality that I'm looking for in Jasper. So I think we're gonna leave that one here. Let's take a look at the three best finds from the day. Here's a nice piece of Genesis stone. It's got that Jasper red running right through it. Didn't realize how well polished it was when it was out there in the windy day. But very nicely polished by Mother Nature. Next we have that baseball size Jasper with the multicolors, the white and the mustard and the red and the black. My favorite piece of the day is this piece of jasper right here. Nice and red, just a good quality. You can see how it's shining in the light. It was a good day out there for a short little trip. I'm the Wyoming Stone Ranger. Got a little bit of Wyoming history here for you. Please make sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait until we go out and rock hunt again. These ruts were made by wagons crossing the Oregon Trail. Some of the most defined ruts along the entire length of the trail. The trail started in St. Louis and would end up in Oregon. It would head right through the center of Wyoming following the Platte River at this point. 
The immigrants had to reach Independence Rock by 4th of July if they were to make it over the mountains before the snow flew. Between the 1830s and 1869, 250,000 immigrants traveled the trail. It is estimated that 65,000 of them lost their lives on the migration.